Hello everybody, this is the Goofsome Fox coming at you with a match in the Gelgook Stutzer. And <laughs> man, I'm I'm already loving this suit, but oh boy, yep, already getting hit with mines from the enemy Gelgook Stutzer, so eh, if you haven't seen my testing video, small spoiler alert, yep, this suit has mines on it. But yep, these are different mines that you can actually detonate on your own. But before we get straight into the suit, yep, this is gonna be a 450 cost match. Gonna accidentally hit my Black Rider there, like a like a foolish person. And the enemy one team has one as well, so yep, that's the reason for confusion. But yep, Gelgook Stutz is a 450 cost general, and it's the latest of the Stutzer units here, and it's very similar to the Gelgook Marine type, specifically the Commander type, because it can use the Commander type Beam Rifle, or you can use the Beam Bazooka Modified, which is what I'm going to be using for this round here. There's the enemy Stutzer, and I'm going to hit his toe there. <laughs> but yes, I have been really enjoying this suit with the matches I've been able to get with it. Um, it's got some very nice killing power, like, I feel like for the matches I've played, and these have all been on Arctic Base, by the way, for the matches I've been playing with this suit so far, it's like I've just been able to get a consistent, like, usually like five or six kills, like, for per match, there was only one that I only got three on it, so the killing power of this suit is actually really nice. Um, interestingly, it is built more for melee, but I do find even at range, especially with the beam bazooka, there is still a lot that can be done with this suit. Uh, my build here is specifically for defense. I don't think I've even boosted the melee stats on this suit. I actually went for a more defensive build because, as you can probably notice, this suit is quite bulky with its large backpack and shoulders doesn't help that the Gelgook is already a decently large suit, so having that little extra bit of defense is uh, always nice to have. The mines I'm still getting used to. I don't think I've completely used them to the best of their capabilities yet, but at the moment I've been kind of using them like a safety cushion in a way. Like I'll put them in areas I feel like an enemy is going to go, or I'll put them around me somewhere so that way if anyone does try to sneak up on me I will have at least a bit of safety so I don't feel like if something tries to attack me I can maybe set my mines off and stop them in their tracks before they can do any major damage to me although well that's not gonna help me at the moment because I am dead there's a black rider there I can't tell if that's our black rider or if that's the enemy's black rider actually that looks like that might be the enemy's Yep, two Black Riders, so yeah, having two stealth suits on opposite teams, especially the same stealth suit, yeah, that made for some interesting interactions, but yeah, we'll hopefully, we'll figure it out. Alright, spawning back in my suit, and I have to call in some support fire. Eh, hopefully we hit something. And there we, <laughs> there we go, the typical dog collar, not dog collar, what is it, those like, the dog cones, yeah, the... The design, I, I can't see! <laughs> I don't know who thought this was a good idea for the Stutzers to not be able to see in front of them, but... Uh, I guess that's why it has that extra camera in the front. So, I think it's gonna be an interesting... Is it gonna be here? No, I don't think so. It might be here. I think it is gonna be here. I try to hit, I think, this suit right here. I hit, try to hit the enemy Stutzer, but I end up hitting the Black Rider instead. The enemy Black Rider, so... Hey, that actually benefits us, because now we can focus on the enemy team without a, well, a raid stealth suit trying to attack us. They do also have a Isaac over there, so we do need to be careful of that. Although my biggest threat this match has been that full armor ground type Gundam over there, because, yeah, that thing has missiles, and a lot of ways that it can stun me, and again, doesn't help that I am in a large and bulky suit. Do have maneuver armor though, so I can use that to my advantage. Alright, fighting the Black Rider again. I am a bit more confident with this with melee, because it does have melee priority 
three, so you can clash with raids, and you can also... Uh, you have priority over most generals. Another interesting thing I found out about this through a comment I received is that the Kelgu Sutsu here can actually outmelee the level 2 Arhuk 70A2 Gundam. So yeah, that was some interesting research there. Also, this suit does, again, have maneuver armor and a few stun options, so... Yeah, getting in to use that melee is not necessarily the hardest thing in the world. Right, Pale Rider is going to get a nice counter on the enemy Stutzer there. I'm going to warn my team that I'm reloading my other weapons, although my Arm Gatling is ready. Going to create my little safety cushion here, which I think is going to, well, not really come in handy, even though there was a Black Rider here. I think I accidentally hit my team instead. Yeah, the mines have been very helpful, especially on a map like this where eh, Ring Around the Rosie is typically the game to play, especially at the start of a match. Alright, Storm Frost ready. I don't think I'm going to... Yep. I think it's going to explode before I can hit anything. We do have the enemy team pinned at their base, though, and we are hitting the last two minutes here. Alright, Gatling. Just so I don't accidentally stun my teammates. Get my bazooka ready. Uh, the blast got me there, but the Stutzer here I think used all his thrust for a tackle. Alright, gonna go in with the mines. I think I may have done some damage, but I haven't been really able to see. Alright, falling back because yeah, it looks like it's just me and our Nero trainer. Did a destruction assist on somebody. So yep, I'm just going to stay in the back here because I am low on health. So, it probably will, yep. Oh, yep, that's going to be... Everyone is concentrated in that one area, though. So let's see if I can slip in, get a bit more damage out. So you can jam. There's the black right over there. Full armor. I'm going to stay up here on the ledge, get the high ground. It's one thing I've learned from movies is that the high ground always helps. There's the Pale Rider. Actually, there's the Pale Rider and the Stutzer, so let's see. Finished off the Black Rider with my Sturm Foss. Now I'm going to move in with Melee. Alright, he's going to tackle. I'm going to use my own tackle, may encounter this Gym 3 powered. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have the kick, it actually has the Sword Slash animation that I think the regular Gelguk Marine has, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Machine gun. And last few seconds. Gonna do one last tackle just to make sure I don't take any more damage. And that's gonna be the end of this match. Good work. And let's see what we are working with. Alright, top individual, top assist, and top in damage dealt. Gonna praise both the Black Riders. 3,000, over 3,000 individual, 5 kills, and 1 loss. And, yeah, that's gonna do it for this match in the Gelkuk Stutzer. Again, I, I really like using this suit. I, hopefully I do get to test it on other maps at some point, because, man, this, this suit is just fun to use. Especially, I want to use the Commander Beam Rifle, because I want to see it on maybe maps that are more, like, open range. I want to see if maybe this thing is decent at some sniping, even though again it does have that low range damage as it prioritizes melee, but uh, it will be worth the shot. And, well, with that, that's going to be the end of this video. Comment down below what you think about the Gelguk Stutzer. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Later!